Learn English through story, the apple tree. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel, where we learn English through stories. Today, we have a wonderful tale called, the apple tree. It's not just a story, but a journey through vocabulary, grammar, and imagination. So, let's devane. On soup in a time, in a lush green garden, there stood a magnificent apple tree. Its branches were heavy with juicy, ripe apples, shining brightly in the sun. Garden to play and marvel at the tree. They would often sit under its wide-reaching branches, enjoying the cool shade it provided. Isn't that a lovely image? Imagine the vibrant colors of the apples, the gentle rustle of the leaves. Now, let's learn some English expressions from this story. Our first phrase is, heavy with. In the story, we heard, its branches were heavy with juicy, ripe apples. This means the branches were full of apples, almost bending under the weight. You can use heavy with to describe something full or burden. The children loved the tree, not just for its fruit, but for the stories they imagined within its branches. They would invent tales of brave knights and magical creatures, all under the watchful eyes of the apple tree. What a wonderful way to use your imagination. Now, explore some more vocabulary. Here we have invent and tales. Invent means to create something new, like the stories the children made up. And a tale is a story. So, invent tales means to create stories. As the seasons changed, so did the apple tree. In the spring, it blossomed with delicate flowers, filling the air with a sweet fragrance. In the fall, its leaves turned brilliant shades of red and gold, painting the garden with a fiery glow. Nature is truly magical, isn't it? Now, let's learn a grammar point from this part of the story. Here we have, did, and so did. In the story, we heard, so did the apple tree. So did is used to show that something else happened in the same way. For example, the tree changed, so did the seasons. It connects two similar actions. Great job, everyone. You're learning so fast. Now, let's see how our story ends. One winter, fierce storm swept through the village, with howling winds and pounding rain. The villagers worried for the apple tree, its branches swaying dangerously in the gale. But when the storm subsided, the villagers found the apple tree still standing tall, its roots deep in the earth. Though battered and worn, it had weathered the tempest. Inspired by the tree's resilience, the villagers planted more saplings, creating a beautiful orchard that thrived for generations to come. What a powerful message of resilience and community. It goes to show that even in tough times, we can persevere and grow stronger together. Thank you all for joining us today on our English learning journey through the apple tree. I hope you enjoyed the story and learned some new words and expressions along the way. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more stories and language lessons. Until next time, happy learning. Learn English through story, the apple tree.